Just told you on the CBS 42 News at noon, a Chilton County man will spend the next 40 years in prison for killing his wife. Tonight we are learning new details about that crime that horrified an entire community. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan live in our, at the, uh, in our newsroom tonight. He was in the courtroom for Eric Price's sentencing today. And Mike, what can you tell us about the details here? Well, Jim, because this case involves a plea deal, not a trial, prosecutors are only now shedding light on what really happened inside that Jemison doctor's office where Leah Price was murdered. Her family tells me the case is over, but they still haven't come to grips with her loss. Eric Price pleaded guilty to the murder of Leah Jarvis Price in a Chilton County courtroom. As part of a plea agreement, he received 40 years in prison. Clutching a picture of Leah Price and her young son, Leah's mother says there is no feeling of closure. I thought I would. They didn't change anything. I mean, you still, I mean, this is what I have. And in 20 years, this is still what I have. On April 13th of 2015, prosecutors say Eric Price followed Leah Price 100 yards from their home into the lobby of a nearby doctor's office armed with a pistol. It was an evil act. She was pleading for her life. Three different people tried to intervene uh, to try to talk him out of hurting her. Um, he threatened all three of those individuals. Some were staff members there at the doctor's office. He informed them if they didn't want to be a witness, they should turn their head. There, near an exit in the lobby. He then executed Leah, shot her in the head with a 9mm pistol. Leah's mother says she was in the process of trying to get a divorce at the time. Prosecutors say Eric Price told an emergency responder that Leah, quote, got what she deserved, end quote, and later told an investigator that she had ruined his life. I just hope he can find a way to live with his selfish and cowardly ways that he went about doing things. And to be honest, I hope it plays a big part on his mind for the rest of his life. Tonight, Eric Price is in the Chilton County Jail. Prosecutors tell me he will likely be transported to a state prison within 30 days. Now, this was the first time he came face to face to the victim's family since the murder. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you what he said and how they replied. In the newsroom, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.